inverts. Today we are opening a mystery box from Phil over incredible inverts and other animals which we bought from the previous show the other Sunday. So we're going to open the top of this £25 mystery box and we find a couple of stickers. Uh, one of a beetle right there, one of a tarantula also, and an incredible inverse on other animals sticker also. Um, if you go to the bottom of the description, Phil's one of the channels that's actually linked there. So first out of the box is a mantis, and it's the, the Idio Mantis Diabolica. So these actually need a heat lamp or a heat source um, above them, preferably a heat lamp. Um, as Amy, his, his other half, reminded us also. So that's what they need if you ever consider getting one of these. But just look how beautiful they are. A tiny little one. But these grow into such a stunningly beautiful man. It's very, very chuffed to have one yet again in the collection. And as you can see, very active. Jumped out the pot onto my hand. But little gentle persuasion. Just touch the paw there and boom, straight back in the pot. Now what I do with the mantis is, especially when they're in the middle, is hold the netting down quite tightly so they can't then get their legs underneath the lid when you clip it down. Um, there we go. Absolutely stunning. And that one is only a tenner, which is quite cheap for that species. Also, we also have a pot of sprats. Now, if you keep isopods or springtails, these are absolutely perfect for them. A really good protein source. Certain beetles as well will also eat those, so they're always welcome here. And we have the Papilla isopod, the Cubarius marinia uh, Papilla. Absolutely awesome. These are 10 for 20 quid, which again is a very good price. Um, I think... If our memory serves me right, actually, there was like 10 and then there was about four or five babies in there as well. Uh, but these are absolutely gorgeous. And if you've been watching the channel of recent, you know that instead of keeping one, two, three or four species of isopod in recent years, we're now expanding and keeping a lot more, especially as the wife's getting more and more interested in them as well, as well as our two boys. So that's absolutely awesome. And here we've got two adult pairs headlight cockroaches that bottom one down on the right hand corner with those two bright orange dots at the front of the head is why they are called headlight cockroaches um we have two pairs so fingers crossed fingers crossed they breed and we get babies and we have a little colony of our own going here which was started off by phil be absolutely awesome they do burrow um there is actually four in there trust me i've triple checked uh, <laughs> but if you can see if you can see the three on the left and then the one just underneath the dirt there also that is that's the four that's pretty awesome we had these a long long time ago probably about five years ago now and um, what happened with our little we only had a small colony it ended up crashing for some reason sometimes you can get a crash in a colony of isopods beetles even your live foods and the reasons are pretty much unknown if you've been if your husband is correct it is absolutely unknown but they are absolutely awesome. Chuffed to have those again. And then we've also got a little moss planted terrarium also. That I am going to put on a windowsill. And see if we can't get the moss to go all the way up to the top. And I think I'm going to have a little bet with our two boys about this as well. Because they're going to be interested in watching it grow. Might put a couple of springtails in there. Just to see if they reproduce in there. And if they enjoy that environment. But that's £3.00. The, the fish, uh, £2, sorry, for the terrarium, £3 for the sprats, £10 there, so that's 15 quid so far, 15 20 30 45 pound in inverts, and we only paid 25 quid. Or oh, that is a very, very good value for money. Um, yeah, a terrarium kind of like that is not something I'd normally go out and buy personally. So to, to have one in a mystery box, and now I've got one, it's really increased my interest. Um, so I'm probably going to go back to watching Serpent Designs on YouTube again, because I've not watched him for a very long time. Um, and he is an inspirational guy, especially when it comes to the habitats that he creates. And as you can see, these headlight cockroaches are not behaving. One's just trying to run out and disappear. So we're going to put the lid back on there. Last thing we need as we're coming up to moving day is to have a couple of roaches on the run somewhere. <laughs> 
the mantis there absolutely beautiful i live a couple of weeks ago which i was only saying i've not got a lot of experience with mantis and we've somehow managed to get four so that's pretty cool and the isopods if you if you know my wife especially in that whatsapp chat um you know that the only invert that she actually really really likes are the isopods so to have these ones is absolutely awesome and look one's roly ponied up into the into the classic pill bug position and then the other one's just wandering around exploring the environment that they've got absolutely awesome again let me know down in those comments what you think to this mystery box boom so that was a 25 pound mystery box from phil incredible inverts and other animals absolutely awesome really good value for money let me know down in the comments if you would if someone offered you this package and you knew what it all was for 25 pounds would you say yes i probably would to be completely honest <laughs> i will absolutely would um i do plan to get more off phil um with the mystery boxes in the future because he has such an array of different inverts like we've got here um so I really, really enjoy that kind of variety of inverts, not just the tarantulas. Um, anyway, we went down and I was working. Um, I, I, I would like travel around the Midlands and sometimes I go further afield with my job to repair machinery. Um, and I got a call out and I went down to Aylesbury, did the job. It was on a Saturday, um, so I did the job. Uh, and as I was coming off the site, I pulled over, just chatting to everybody in the WhatsApp group, which I'll put a link downstairs if you want to. If you want to join that go check out the description um and angela uh purple passion pet says exotics at heart reptile shop invert shop bird and mammal kind of shop is is uh in aylesbury here's a postcode if you're anywhere near pop in and it so happened that was only eight minutes away so i thought do you know what we'll pop in and uh go check out check them out and all the rest of it i ended up going in we bought um a couple of different species of isopod um, as well as picking up a mature male um, platyoma for Chris's zoo on wheels. So he'll be using that pretty soon. I think he actually, he might already have, depending on when this video comes out. But we also picked up, for 25 quid, this little green fella here. And isn't he absolutely beautiful? Those gorgeous eyes, the little grumpy face. And because he looks so grumpy, I'm going to name him Chris after one of my very, very close friends, Chris is on wheels. So this little fellow is going to be known as Chris and he's going to be spending a long, long time, a whole of its life here at Scott's Inverts. Um, but yeah, really, really chuffed to bits. Um, but guys, if you ever get the chance to, and if you're in Aylesbury, give them a Google, give them a follow on Facebook. They are doing some snake feeding videos up there and some other bits and bobs. I spent probably about an hour and a half um, across the two shops there, literally just wandering around, looking. They have so many spiders, so many reptiles. It's actually quite... It took me back, actually, and made me a little bit emotional to kind of think how many spiders are in there and how kind of the hobby now is, is growing and growing and growing. Because 10, 20 years ago, you went into a reptile shop, you might see a spider or a scorpion, normally one or the other, or none at all. And the places were normally decked out with snakes and lizards. So to see the, the spiders and tarantulas kind of come into, come into the reptile shops in the vast quantities they are now is absolutely amazing. A lot of what they had was also captive bred, which is absolutely amazing also. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do do other videos other than unboxing. It's just we are moving house. Um, and we're moving house this weekend uh, slash Monday, Tuesday. So we've been boxing up and stuff like that. So the plan was always to get a couple of mystery boxes from the show to keep videos coming out for you guys. Next week, as I'm moving house, setting up the house, I don't know if I'll be able to do your two videos the next week. I am, however, going to do the live stream on Tuesday. We have a special guest, and that special guest has um, some amazing news or an area. Of amazing news it's going to be really worthwhile so make sure you get your notifications on and you'll be notified of that as soon as i put it up there um but it's going to be an absolutely awesome night starting from eight o'clock probably finish around 10 10 30 p.m um but again it's going to be an absolutely brilliant night so yeah we are moving house and all the rest of it so i might put a video out next week of something that's in the garden that's going to be relevant relevant to the channel and kind of you guys can then watch the progress of it 
Um, if that's, it's, I'll tell you what it is. It's going to be it's a brick shed. It's not a massive one. It's only a small one, but I plan to insulate it um, on the cheap because we, you know, moving house takes a lot of cash. Um, trying to going to insulate it on the cheap, insulate the roof on the cheap, board it on the cheap. It's got a wooden door that needs to be swapped out for a plastic one, uh, UPVC. So I'm going to be hunting around desperately trying to get a second hand one of those as cheap as I possibly can. Um, we're going to board it, paint it, seal it, do everything we can to the interior. And then we're going to think about racking and how to get racking in there. Is this racking going to this racking here might actually be too far this way because these are at the very front, but at the back of this is about this much room. So I'm thinking if I could get something like Dave's Little Beasties has got maybe that, that fix, fixes to the wall and then you put the hooks on and then you put the smaller platforms on maybe that might do this room a little bit better justice um but we have got two front rooms well a front room and a dining room but it's going to be a front room and it's going to be it's going to be two front rooms so we have got the potential of using some inside space as well as um especially with the inverts that the boys have got kind of putting them in in one of the rooms maybe just a little bit high so we can get them down to them as and when uh, they need to do maintenance but if that's something that you want to see on the channel, again, let me know down in those comments. I'm pretty excited about this shed because there is some, if I get it right, there's a lot of special news to come from this. Um, as you guys know, from six, seven years ago, I've, I've always wanted to have a space that I can inv invite people that are in recovery to come round, maybe two at a time, just to take them. Because when you, when you stop taking drugs, as I did, it's on your mind constantly and unless you get something completely different thrown in your face that's all you're thinking about so i'm thinking maybe if we can get a couple of the lads that are like fresh into recovery round it might just take their mind off drugs and on uh, spiders momentarily just enough to give their minds a little break and a moment of clarity um and maybe they'll pick up tarantulas and that'll help them going forward who knows but I know with our community and if they end up getting a spider and joining it, they'll have all the support in the world, which is majorly important. Um, anyway, guys, again, a massive thank you to each and every one of you for watching. If you're watching every single one of my videos, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are an absolute superstar. And as always, we shall see you again on the next one. And I will have a beard trim by the next live or video also. <laughs>